everybody and welcome back to my channel. My name is Danielle, just in case you didn't know, now you do. And today I'm gonna do an old school video of what's in my bag. I'm sure you've seen it from the title. But I recently got a really special bag, well it's special to me at least, and I want to share it with you. But I also want to show you how I did some like hacks to the bag to make it fat friendly because let's face it a lot of crossbody bags are not plus size friendly the strap just doesn't expand long enough and you end up with a bag that sits like directly under your boob and cuts off the circulation in your shoulder um i'm not about that life and i try to make my bags as comfortable as possible especially when i'm making a bag like i make bags like tote bags out of recycled leather and i always make the straps really long um so they'll fit over your fat arms your coat anything you need it to because i want you to be comfortable when you're wearing one but i don't make crossbody bags so at least not yet and so when i was shopping online a few weeks ago I saw this bag fell in love and um bought it it was expensive um at least for my wallet it was is it was expensive it's not like a luxury handbag but it's also not a Walmart handbag um so without any further ado I'm gonna introduce you to my new bag this is my coach dreamer shoulder bag this is the strap so it actually came with two straps this leather one and then this chain one as you can see they are now actually one bag what i did and when i purchased it i knew it came with two straps and the plan all along was to try and find a way to combine the two straps to make it one so that it would be long enough to go around my body. What I did was I found approximately the middle of the strap and I took that chain link out, separated it. It did take a lot of brute strength, let me just say. Um, I didn't need to saw anything, but I needed a couple pairs of pliers to rip it apart. And yes, I'm aware that like I can't take it back to like coach or whatever. Um, it probably voids the warranty or whatever. I don't care. Um, I love the bag. I'm not sending it back. I did purchase it from the Coach outlet, so I'm not even sure I could return it if I wanted to. So, I don't know. Uh, anyway, so I connected the chain on here. So it can come off if I want to wear it short or just with the leather strap. The leather strap fits okay. Um, it's still a little high up, but the chain strap was nowhere near long enough. So, um, And it does get a lot longer as well. Like, this is, it can get shorter. There's still like two loops, three loops, three holes, sorry, that it can go shorter into. And it can get significantly longer. So... Um, this is sort of the best of both, both worlds in the winter time when I need it a little longer because of my coat. Then I can move it back a spot and it still fits. Um, anyway, so I picked this particular one because it came with the two straps. I also fell in love with the detail of it. I was a little concerned because I didn't think that it would have a pocket on the back. Um, in the photos, it just sort of looks flat, like it's stitched across here, but it's actually an open pocket, um, which is great because my phone sits in there. I hate having to open my, oh, I hate having to open my bag to pull out my phone. So. We have some suede on the front here. I do need to get um, a protectant spray for it. This bag is heavy, let me just tell you. Um, it's not like heavy on your shoulder, but it's heavy to hold it up like this. Um, and then on the sides, it has this detailing on the sides where there's a different, like more pebbled texture of leather. And then this bit here of smooth leather that curls around underneath with the little stud detailing. The bottom is smooth, the back is smooth, and the top um, front flap is smooth. And then we have this antiqued brass hardware. Um, another thing to note is this actually has two flaps. 
I feel very fancy because it kind of feels like I'm getting a Chanel bag, but at an outlet coach price and much less delicate, I would say. Um, it also comes with these two little, like, I don't know, bag charms, I guess. You know, the typical coach one. And then a little uh, brass C, like that. So, now let's get into the bag itself. Oh yes, sorry, there's these side hardware bits here um, that mean that you're not like, it's there's like um, a stiffener or like a piece of metal in here that means that it, the bag doesn't collapse down when you set it down and it keeps its shape really well that way. Let's go through the bag, shall we? Inside, it has this like dark purple suede finish. Um, I'm not sure if this is like a micro suede or if it's real suede. It doesn't feel like real suede, um, but I don't know. So obviously I have stuff in here and I'll show you. Then on the front flap here, or the second flap, um, you open this. Again, it's lined the same way and this has like a little accordion pocket that opens up this way. So it doesn't hold much, but it is a very nice pocket. Um, good for paperwork. I've been keeping like parking tickets in it. I know. Then in the center here, we have a zipper, which is very smooth and it's great to keep secret things. Um, and by secret things, I keep tampons and the care card. And I think a pen, I'm not sure. So um, that's like, the nuts and bolts of it. There is a front section. This is very hard to do. There is a front section here and then the back section divided by the zipped pocket. So now I'm going to show you what's actually in the bag because it holds a surprising amount and I decided to move up from, I had a wallet on a chain style bag that was also coach that I got off of um, what's one of those like secondhand reselling apps? Um, it was brand new, but I got it for a really good price. Um, I really like coach bags. They're just quality. So I'm going to go through and show you what's in here now. Um, and like, be, keep in mind, like, I just threw stuff in here that while I was out, I have just come from like being out for the day. So anyway. Um, first handful of stuff, we have a receipt that I need to keep from Michael's because this is a business expense. And then I have some tubes of Gorilla Glue, um, for making jewelry. I use usually E6000, but I can't seem to find these tiny tubes that I like. Um, because when you use the big tubes and you close it, it then seals itself shut and I can never get it open again. So these tiny tubes are great. Then I also got these in the mail today, and these might be hard to see. They are actually little safety pin earrings, and there should be six individual earrings in there. And therefore, an idea I had. So you might see those in the future. We have my Coho card. Coho is actually an app that helps you like save money and stuff. So essentially you e-transfer in Canada. You can only use it in Canada. Um, you e-transfer your money into this account and then it rounds up every dollar that you spend to like the nearest dollar or nearest two dollars depending or more and then it puts it into a savings account. It can also take money out of the main account and put it in a savings account for you. So it helps me save money. Um, so I have one of those and it's just an app. Um, it's only available in Canada but I will leave my referral link if you want it. Um, I think you get like a better interest rate if I refer you or I get something and you get something. I don't know what it is. It's not sponsored. I just like using it. Anyway, when I purchased the bag, I also got this card holder. Um, I like the idea of card holders and that they're so small and easy to carry around. And I really like this one because it was cute and squishy and quilt quilted, but I don't like using a card holder. <laughs> I'm probably gonna switch back to like a proper wallet soon. Um, I have one that's small enough to fit in this bag already. 
but I don't like this because it's impossible to get stuff out like it's really difficult I can't even get anything in the middle here and um, yeah I'm just it's not that I don't like it I love it it just isn't working for my lifestyle that sounds really stupid but anyway oh and the other thing was the receipt from getting my hair done the other day now we're going into the zippered pocket like I said, I'm pretty sure all I have in here is like tampons um, and the care instructions for the bag. Also, that noise is my chair. Yes, tampons, like a fistful of the U by Kotex tampons. These are not the click kind, they're the slick, silk, slick, yeah, the slick. And they've been discontinued. They're nearly impossible to find and they are the best ones because they have this like silicone grippy on it, which means you don't accidentally punch yourself in the vag when trying to put a tampon in. A pair of earrings that look suspiciously like the ones in that bag, but these are not. I purchased these from an Etsy seller um, who's, I think, based in Toronto. I'll link them. They look like little safety pins and they thread through your earring holes. So Then we have the dongle for my iPhone and an erasable pen that is unscrewing itself. So, my favorite erasable pen, and then the little headphone jack. I don't even, this came in clutch the other day, or a couple weeks ago at the store I needed it, but I have never actually plugged it into my own phone, because I don't even carry headphones with me most of the time. I carry my AirPods, but that's it. Okay, we've got my car keys, which I don't normally keep in here. They're normally on the kitchen table, but I'll be honest, someone keeps moving them on the kitchen table, and then I can't find them. So, I'm going to have to start putting them in my bag. This is a set of cutlery that I keep in my purse. Um, yes, it is weird, but it's so that I don't have to use, like I can say, if I'm getting takeout, I can say I don't need plastic cutlery because I have my own. And I can eat it in my car and not have to wait till I get home where it's all soggy and mushy. And then I have my pencil case. Um, sometimes I just want to bring, like, my planner or my bullet journal, uh, with me, and so I like having my pencil case in my purse. Um, I've got all kinds of stuff in here. Tons of stationery. Most of it's from Happy Thoughts or Midori here in town. I also keep my lip balm in here, because then I always have it with me. And my Apple Pencil is in here, as well as the little connector -y thing that allows me to connect it to a lightning cord. So we have a Talee's receipt, which is a thrift store business expense. Um, then we've got Fabricland, that's also business expense. Then I have one, two, three parking tickets. Yes, I will pay them. Um, I just don't always have available funds to do that. Oh, and then more care instructions. I don't know why I needed two. I think one might have been from the wallet. Then we have the uh, registration for my car. This is the sticker in Ontario. You put a sticker on the license plate when you renew your license or renew your sticker for your car. Um, there is currently an extension on these. You have three months from your birthday. So I do need to stick this on my car like ASAP because my birthday was middle of July. So I was in the hospital when that happened. So, you know, anyway, then we've got uh, my insurance slip, which also definitely needs to be kept there. I also keep one in my car. Um, I've got some business cards. I can't show you the back of these because they have my phone number on them and like my real legit email address. Um, I, nef I need to get more of these because these don't have all the right information. I also have my Costco card because it doesn't fit in the damn card wallet. That's everything in my bag. This is my bag. Um, it's beautiful. I love carrying it. Um, I don't really know what else to tell you about it. Oh, I kept like these. This is how much chain I took off on each side. So I cut the chain in half. And then I tried it on to see how long or short the chain could be. And then I 
cut these bits off. Um, I didn't really cut them, I just like pried it open, but I did keep it because I figured maybe I could, I don't know, make a bracelet or something. I didn't want to waste it. Let's talk about the cost of the bag because, um, it was a lot. It's probably the most I've ever spent on a purse before and, um, that sang something. So, I bought it from the Coach Outlet, which I will link below um, in case you want to check it out because it's actually a really great place. Coach is one of the few places that actually puts, like, their legit bags um, into their outlet. Um, a lot of companies, like uh, Kate Spade, I know for sure does that. They make things specifically for their outlet. Coach doesn't do that. They just put things that maybe they didn't sell as well or, um, I don't know, whatever reason, last season stuff that they have left over in the outlet. You can shop it online. It's really great. It feels like you're shopping on their regular website. It comes like I got a dust bag and everything for this. So, um, I'm really happy. The packaging, there was so much packaging. Everything was wrapped in like a plastic foam and like tons of tissue paper. It felt like I was unboxing like a real legit luxury bag. I mean, it's still really nice. It's all leather and everything. I'm not saying that it's not. Um, but the bag was like $247 US. I think the total amount I paid including um, taxes and I had free shipping. Um, I also use Rakuten um, to get cash back, which I think I got like $30 cash back um, when all was said and done. My total, including the little card wallet, was like $413 Canadian. So it was a lot. It was a lot. Um, and I don't think I've ever spent that much myself on a purse before. I would definitely buy it again, but let me just tell you, I would not buy this again. Um, it's cute. I don't, but like, I paid $30 for it. Um, it's leather and everything. That's great, but it just isn't worth it because I, I will not use this. I don't know. I just won't use it. I'll probably try and sell it on or something like that. I don't know. Um, the one thing I can say is the bag didn't come in a box, which would have been really handy for storing it, but that's okay. It came with a dust bag. That's fine. All right, I'm gonna show you guys how I wear it, or not wear it, but like what it looks like on. Um, I don't really have a lot of space back here, so it might get a little awkward. Um, we'll see, okay? All right, this is what it looks like on. Um, the buckle comes to the front for me. I'm left-handed, so I wear it on my left side. If you were to wear it right-handed, This is what it would look like, and this feels very weird for me, like so backwards, but you would get the bag charms at the front, so um, I, like, I can't even, can't do that. You could, like, honestly, you could flip all of this so the buckle is on the other side. Um, when you're wearing it, it's all removable and adjustable. So it fits right here. I find it does like curve around my body a bit, as you can see, like does that. But the good part is, is like if you're wearing dark jeans or something, you're not gonna get any transfer because it's smooth leather on the back and it's black. So that's great. And like I can spin it all the way around here. I can also make it shorter. So that is a couple holes shorter. So it sits up just a little higher, closer to my boob. I can make it significantly longer as well, which I don't wanna do because it hangs like all the way down to my knee if I do that. So that's the bag. All right, thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, if you have any questions about the bag, ask them below. Uh, I will link the bag if it's still available. At the very least, I will link the coach outlet. I highly recommend that you use Rakuten to get cash back because in the long run, it's more money in your pocket as well. 
um i will link them there will be some sort of like referral link uh just as a heads up but i use rakuten all the time i'm not even sure if i'm saying it right but I use them all the time because it gives me cash back, especially when I'm on like Etsy or something like that. I get 1% cash back, same on Amazon. That's all I've got for you guys today. Thank you so much for watching. I appreciate you hanging out and uh, don't forget to subscribe. I don't often say that, but subscribe. I would really like to see us hit like 25,000 before the end of the year. Highly unlikely, but I'd really like to see it happen. Um, yeah. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys soon. Bye!